Hey everyone, uh, so today I was playing around with uh, this HC-SR501 uh, motion, detect motion detection sensor that I could use with my Raspberry Pi. So uh, what I want to do is just have a little bit of Python code uh, that can read the data from the motion detection sensor. Okay, so I plugged it all in, I'm not going to go into the details of that because I've been kind of talking about plugging stuff in in my previous blog posts. Uh, I'm still trying to get my head around all of it, so uh, I'm way, way from being an expert at any of this stuff, so I'm learning as I go. Now, I have my motion detection sensor plugged into pin 6, so GPIO 6, and what I've got here is some code that will read uh, that sensor, inform information from that sensor. So you'll notice here uh, we've got a little bit of text being printed on the screen, bit of a sleep and then we go into a while loop so basically an infinite loop in this case and what we do is we check the input pin right we check the the status of the motion detector if it's set to one then you know it's been raised therefore motion has been detected then we go to sleep now and we keep kind of polling that uh, sensor just to see if you know motion has been detected so you'll see as you start moving your hand past the motion sensor, it will start moving. Now, that's pretty cool. And you can see here, when you press Control c it will uh, stop sensing. So what I'm going to do, or actually before I go into that, for those of you who know, want to know what that actually looks like, so let me go over here and bring it up. And there it is there. You can see HC-SR501 uh, human sensor module. That's pretty much what uh, what mine looks like. I think mine just has a green board on it. Now, you can see the price, 430. Um, I bought it with a whole set of stuff for like 20 bucks or something. So there's a whole bunch of different sensors in it, which is pretty cool. So, okay, so this is the sensor. What I'm gonna do is, you've seen the code, this is for the polling part, and I'm going to jump into my Raspberry Pi here, and I'm going to run this really quickly. Oops, HC. Poll. Okay, so it's going to get started in a moment, and then you'll see motion detected. Right, I'm going to move away from it. Nothing's happening. So it's just going to sit in there, a little bit of motion, but I move my hand around, and you can see it starts moving around. I put it down. Hopefully, it's not going to move around too much. Oh, it's moving around a lot more than I expected. Anyway, okay, but you notice if I go back to my code, this is polling. So because we're doing this sleep, in between those sleeps, there's a good chance that there's going to be some motion and it's not going to be detected. So what's a better way of doing it? So I'm going to open up another file that I have. All right, there we go. It's a little bit more code. And what we've done is we've created... Uh, a function, a callback function called motion. And this is what's going to log that text. Now, as we go into here, notice that our while loop is a little bit different. What we're doing is first, we're adding an event uh, detect callback function. So we're saying when an event is detected on this particular pin with the GPIO rising, so this is that event, uh, that trigger event, or that edge event that is causing uh, something to happen, we're going to call back, uh, we're going to call this particular function called motion, which is up here, and then we'll go to sleep. Right? Now, this is not calling the function, this is just setting a flag to say, when this happens, when this rising event happens, I want to call this uh, this function. Right? This is just going to a sleep so that uh, it's not a, you know, use up as much CPU as you can, kind of sleep. This is just going to sleep, then get out of it, and then keep keep looping in here, right? And it allows us to do a control C to actually exit out of it. So let's have a look at how that works. HC trigger. Okay. Now, I'm not really moving here. If I move my hand over, you can see there's a movement. I'm not moving again. It's going to sit there, I move my hand, and it triggers. Right? So now, no matter what happens, as long as I'm moving my hand around it, and if I move it around a little bit, the events are being triggered, and things like that. Right? So it's a way nicer way of capturing events rather than 
having this constant polling. So I'm actually going to try to do some of this stuff with some of my other sensors and uh, and see what happens. All right. Uh, one of my kind of goals of all of this is to actually have uh, this moisture, uh, like a soil moisture sensor uh, in a plant and have it sit there and wait for a particular event to occur. And when it happens, we're going to check for, you know, uh, a moisture level. And then if that happens, we're going to we're going to do something with it and we'll see what I come up with when that happens. OK, I'm going to zip up these Python scripts, Python code, and I'll make it available at the bottom of this blog post. So hopefully this is handy to those people who are kind of playing around with this stuff uh, uh, in the early stages of their Raspberry Pi development. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any comments, feel free to add them to the bottom of this post. Thanks a lot.